Hello everybody, long time no see. Um, these last few weeks I've, uh, I, think, I think I've had about four or five weddings so I've kind of been uh, like a bee's wing to be fair and not only that as well, I can't really be, couldn't really be bothered um, doing the vlogs, I'm just being honest. I've um, got so much going on, um, it's just nice to get out with the camera. But tonight I thought it'd be a nice sunset on the cards and um, we've come to a place called Lytham. If you can just see in the distance there, that's where the windmill is. Um, Shots really easy. I'm just going to try and get one or two shots tonight. So, what the shot is in front of the camera at the moment, there's a kind of like a slight bit of grass with um, a purple colour to it, and then the rest of the grass is all slightly burnt. Um, I wouldn't say it's reeds, I'm not too sure what it is, it's like a sort of pampas grass maybe, uh, leading up to the windmill. Um, above the windmill itself, there's not much, there's not much colour to be fair. Um, above the windmill, there's some high clouds that seem to be getting some light at the moment, but. Um, it's just about sun. Yeah, so the settings I'm going for, I'm at um, ISO 64, F11, and it's one second it's saying. And you can just, I don't know if you can see there or not, but just in front of the camera, this looks like this little purple, purple bit of grass. I'm using that as my foreground interest, and then onto the grass itself, um, and the windmill in the distance. You can just see the lights coming on the windmill at the moment, so it's, it's a little bit, um, it's going dark, so we'll see what we can do. I'll take a shot and if it's any good, I shall post it in a second. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd bring you around to the uh, camera's eyes view, if you will, or my view. And you can just see in the front there, this little band of green with the, the purple. I'm not too sure if the camera's going to pick it up. And all this like um, this loose grass, this dry, burnt grass, and the windmill in the distance. Um, if I turn the exposure down or up, I don't think I can do it on this camera. Um, there we go. As you can see, there's not too much colour above the windmill. There's a tiny bit, but um, I think it's just before sunset. If I turn around, they turn the camera around to look towards Wales. It's uh, there's some lovely colours, but where I'm stood at the moment, as much with life, there's um, 
it's always in the wrong place. So I'll put the exposure back up and I'll take the shot. The settings are, by the way, F11, ISO 64, and I'm on one second. And if it's any good, I shall post it in a second. So I've just pointed the camera around just to show you the colours there. Um, where the orangey bit is over there, that's uh, Wales and over towards Anglesey Way, out into the North Sea. Um, lots of beautiful colours over that way. Um, I'll just spin the camera around a little bit so you can see a bit of an idea where I am. So there's the windmill over there and that's looking towards Blackpool and stuff. Um, there's not much going on over this side yet, unfortunately. So we're playing Mr. Colours tonight, but uh, we'll see. So as you can see, I flipped the camera over, I'm in portrait mode now, so I'm going to do one more shot. Um, just looks a little bit better to be fair, I'm getting more sky and more greenage in the um, foreground. Um, I'm at 24mm, I think. Yep, 24mm. F11, ISO 100, it's 1.6 seconds, and I'll take a shot. And if it's any good, I shall post it in a second. So as you can see, I'm still hanging around because I think there might be a bit of colour in a second. Over towards Southport and over towards uh, Preston Way, it's nice and pink. So give about 10-15 minutes, so if I'm not taking a shot, I'll be on my way home, but fingers crossed. So as you will notice, the sound on this last bit will be shit hot. And I've just noticed that the, um, the microphone jack wasn't pushed in, so I apologise for the poor sound on this short little vlog if it goes out and when I get home to have a look um, you'll know now actually because you'll be watching it um, just wanted to say thank you um, sorry I've not done too many vlogs over these last few weeks because I've been mega busy um, I've been writing magazines I've been um, doing some printing I've been selling prints I've done some commercial work and on top of that I've had to do four weddings in the last three weeks and I've got another three to go in May and as we were doing the vlog sorry I'm going to belch um, somebody rang me up and said can I do another one next week so um, I'm not too sure yet I might have to cancel that one um, but yeah so I've been just really busy and uh, when I get home at night time I've got loads of editing to do so um, yes so that's about it so anyway thank you very much for watching and until next time bye for now